a freestyle dance derived from chicken noodle soup and a dance called the Tomla. But lifey is a, uh, a form of expression that is mixed with swag, technique, and overall imagination because the possibilities are limitless. But it's it's nothing like you've seen before. It may look like, but it really isn't. There's no comparison. We got fans and everything like that. So you know, it's branching off and it's becoming more technical and you know, becoming more respected and well rounded. I dance name is Mr. Breaker from Queensbridge, and I'm 15. My dance name is Dope Fina, I'm 16, I'm from the Bronx, New York. Oh, my dance name is East Sizzle. I'm from the Bronx, I'm 19 years old. I'm SNS and I'm 19 and I'm from Harlem. My name is Kyla B. Cozy, I'm 22, and I'm from Harlem. My stage name is Mr. YouTube, everybody calls me Swiss. I go by both names. I'm um, from the Bronx, but you know, I'm like based out of Harlem, you know. That's where life feed me, the life and the whole movement started. Well, I've been dancing since I was seven years old. Um, it really started when, you know, I was in my house one day, then I seen the Michael Jackson video. Oh man, Michael Jackson went over. Michael Jackson, it was the Don't Stop Till You Get Enough video. Moonwalking, got all the effects in the background. Come on, come on, just going off. And then, I wanted to be just like him. I had the shoes, I had the socks. I didn't have the pink locals, but I had some shoes. I had some shoes, but other than that, that inspired me to dance, and from there I just took off. I practice, I practice when I need to, when I need to battle, or if I, if I have a battle coming up, I'm going to practice. And basically, if I am practicing, I would say I'll probably do it for two to three hours, maybe sometimes, and just keep doing my moves over and over until I get them down pat. Well, producing was to give this movement their own music to do it to, instead of, you know, so if, if it does, if it were to take off or anything, there won't be no copyright infringement or anything take place. We listen to it. We do our own, we do our own music. It's like we copy, you know, and that's the producer side.